Project Rescue the Camper. I don't know if that's like part of camper safety. It is wild, wild west out there. I think only one of us is surviving this storm. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. So today is Friday. Bunky and I are on like Project Rescue the Camper. We are supposed to get a huge snowstorm back home and it's supposed to be like a lot of sleet and ice along with many inches of snow, which we never get. So a little bit of us is having like FOMO because we're super sad we're gonna miss the snow. And the other part of us is like very relieved to be here and not have to deal with all that. But we started talking yesterday and we're like, oh my gosh, but the camper is still at home. And Bunky did not put on our, um, how do you say it, like AC covers. Mm -hmm. And he winterized it, but I don't know the best that he winterized it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it wasn't the best. <laughs> It wasn't a full-blown professional job. It was not, okay? So then we start like almost kind of panicking like, oh my gosh, we have got to rescue this camper because it cannot have all this snow and sleet and ice on it. So... And it's going to be in like the teens and the 20s all at night right. for like the next week, so... Yes, it's just going to be not a good situation for the camper. Yeah. So we're laying... Oh, and... What? We would just rather have it down here anyway. Exactly. We got to get it down here anyway because we're going to store it down here. So we're laying in bed last night. It's like midnight, okay? Bunky's like, you still awake? I'm like, I'm still awake. He's like, Bunky, we got to go home tomorrow and get the camper. And I'm like, what? And he's like, no, we have to. So anyway, we're laying in bed like conjuring up all these like plans. So I woke up this morning. I called Ocean Lakes and I was like, do you guys have any availability? Because if we're going to bring it down here, like we want to stay in it, you know? So I was like, do you have any availability for tomorrow? And they were like, yeah, we have an oceanfront, all this. Okay, so anyway, we have our little campsite booked at Ocean Lakes. And then we asked them, like, do you guys have any availability for us to store the camper there? And they were like, yeah, you can store it here. So we we're like, okay, great. So when we leave Ocean Lakes on Monday, they're going to take our camper and keep it in storage. And that is wonderful because it means it's here with us. We can go get it whenever we want. And then when all of our friends come to Ocean Lakes and stay, they can like pull our camper out, park it for us, and we can still stay there in the camper and see all of our friends. So anyway, we're leaving when he gets off work to go home, spend about 12 hours at the farm, and rescue the camper. So, I have a lot to do today. I'm about to make us some yummy lunch. I cannot wait because I'm hungry. Bunky's hungry. He's already asked me like five times what we're having for lunch. Um, and then I just got a lot of things. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me and we are going to get all the things done today. Okay, so for lunch, I'm actually going to make this HelloFresh Pecan Crusted Chicken. I've never had this one, but it sounds so good. And this is like my favorite kind of salad. So I am so excited for this perfect little lunch for us. So easy to get our shipment redirected I to, know. to the condo. Yes, yeah, so thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Yeah. We are so excited because we got it shipped here. Mm -hmm. It was delivered right to our door. And we have some delicious meals. And we're <laughs> going to take our other ones in the camper with us. It worked yeah. out so good. Yeah, this is just... It's perfect. Perfect. So like I said, HelloFresh was delivered right to our door and we got some great recipes in our box this month. This Figgy Balsamic Pork is one of our favorites. This Pecan Crusted Chicken we're going to make today. And then we also got this Melty Monterey Jack Burgers. That sounds so good. So if you don't know what HelloFresh is, they are America's number one meal kit. And that is because every single recipe is absolutely delicious. I know getting a home cooked meal on the table every day is definitely an accomplishment worth celebrating. So you can let HelloFresh help with that. They have 50 weekly menu and market items to choose from. So that way you can think less about what's for dinner and more about achieving all of your goals. And because HelloFresh offers so many different recipes to choose from each week, they definitely help you break out of that recipe rut. Something you may not know about HelloFresh is that all of the produce gets from the farm to your doorstep in under a week. That way you are ensuring peak freshness and something else I love is that you can actually increase your HelloFresh box servings that way you can easily have leftovers that you can use for lunches. 
So if you want to try HelloFresh, then go to HelloFresh.com and use code Jessica016 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. And that's at HelloFresh.com using code Jessica016 for up to 16 free meals and three free surprise gifts. Okay, lunch was so good. Um, yesterday, I went and did a little bit of shopping for home decor for our new house. I went to Target and Home Goods and I found a few things that I love. They're so cute. So I thought I would share them with you guys and then I need to run out, get my sister a birthday present. I was gonna just um, like get something shipped to her since we were not going home. But now that we're going home, I'm like, oh, I can get her a gift and like give it to her in person. So I need to go do that and then run a few errands before we leave, also get packed. So we still have a lot to do. Okay, so I have my home good stuff here. That lamp is from Target. I'll show you that in a second. This is also from Target. I have been looking at this tray for forever and I just like could not bite the bullet to get it, but it's so, so beautiful. And I had a gift card to Target that I got for Christmas. So I decided to go ahead and grab it. I think it's 40, yeah, it's $40. And it is the Hearth and Hand collection, but I just envisioned this on our, um, kitchen island i like that it's nice and big and gives me like a good surface to decorate with um so anyway and i love the colors in here so i got that and then this i found in the dollar section it was three dollars and this color blue it is so so pretty and we're going to use a lot of that color in our new house um and of course with the white so i thought this would be pretty to um put a plant in so i picked that up as well this is the last thing that i got from target and probably my favorite thing that i found yesterday this lamp is so pretty i don't know if the color is going to come off well on camera but this is kind of like an oatmeal color and then i just love the detail of this lamp and y'all it was only 20 dollars. it's the threshold so if you guys can find it it is just adorable so i was so excited to find that okay i told y'all i'm like obsessed with this color blue right now but from home goods i picked up this beautiful quilt and i got this to go in our master bedroom there is a comforter at target that i love but i cannot decide if i want to keep this one or get the one from target or get both of them only because the one from target is like a lot thicker and more warm and i thought this could be really nice to have just in the summertime um but they're both so so pretty and i'm so torn but i still love this one and think it's gorgeous and it's reversible which is nice and then the last thing that i got yesterday from home goods is this really pretty blanket i got this to go downstairs like on our sofa i wanted like a really nice white blanket for down there and i love that this one kind of has that dimension and texture and it's nice and thick like really good quality so those are all of my little home decor finds from yesterday are you gonna open the door for us you ready to go come on you got it girl you got it come on hang on hang on hang on Daisy May. what'd you forget you're getting your uh, registration for oh. the so you can keep it at Ocean Lakes. Did you get that laundry basket? I did. Come on. Come on. Okay, it is 4.45. We were trying to leave at four, so we are 45 minutes behind schedule. I feel like we're forgetting something, but hopefully we're not. We got Daisy. We got Daisy May. Yeah. We got each other. Um, <laughs> do you the camper keys? I do, yeah. And everything else is in the camper? Yeah. Any other registration, all that stuff, so we can keep it stored there. Um, well, she said all they need is the VIN, so I have our insurance cards, which I think she said was acceptable. All right, Crunchers, you ready for this ride? Morning, you can probably barely see me. Let me see if I stand this way. Okay, much better. We made it to the farm late last night like about 9 30 and we got my sister a cake and we sing her happy birthday and that was so fun um and just like hung out with them for a little bit we are up and at them i'm still trying to wake up 
spunky not so much he is like level 10 excited he said that he feels like it's christmas morning we are really pumped to get a camper but i don't know if i feel like it's christmas morning i'm still like sleepy eyes over here but um b is getting stuff ready in the truck i don't know if you can see him um i'm gonna go get us some breakfast and then when i get back we'll get all loaded up attach everything and get on the road last night there was so much traffic way more than normal so we're hoping there's not going to be too much traffic today get on christmas morning over here <laughs> i don't even so, know what to say you're so excited feel my heart oh my gosh bonnie why is your heart beating so fast i just walked up some stairs <laughs> Okay, got us some McDonald's. Now I'm in line at Starbucks to get us coffee. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but the sun is rising and it is so beautiful this morning. Okay, I'm back from breakfast. What all have you done? Um, I've done everything except attach. No way, you got all that done? Yeah, I'm actually really hot. It's 35 degrees outside. Yeah. But I'm sweating and I'm like got like a cold chill. Oh T gosh. TMI, but anyway. Did um you see the sunrise? Yeah. It was so pretty. Well, it was more so over here. Yeah, when well, I was maybe it was over there. When I was at McDonald's, I could see it. Yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty. Daisy May? Not as pretty as Munchie. Are you ready? Go. Is the inside still open? No, I locked it already. And but the power was on. Yeah, I just reconnected the battery and it said, um, full. So there's charged, good, fair, and bad. Bad. And it's on good. Okay, and did you check the tires? Not yet. That's my most important thing. <clears throat> well, I'll go ahead and tell you, they're going to be really low, Bunky. That's not good. Well, I'm, we, we'll pump them up if we need to. Oh, Bunky, you know how I feel. You know how I feel. A little tip. Yeah, give us a the, tip. The battery disconnect is crucial. Yes. If you don't do the battery disconnect, the next time you come to your camper, you might have a dead battery. <laughs> Guess what I got you for breakfast? Um, it depends on where you went. I went to McDonald's. I hope you got me a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Ooh, I got that and you a salted burrito. Okay. Okay, so we are just about 30, 45 minutes away. We have had a really smooth, easy ride, so it's been wonderful. And I just called Ocean Lakes because we're like an hour and a half before check-in time, so I wanted to make sure that they would be okay with us checking in early. And the lady who answered, she was so sweet, her name's Jeannie, she said, um, your name sounds so familiar. She said, you don't happen to do YouTube, do you? And I was like, yes. And she was like, oh my gosh, I want you in Bunky religiously. I was like, no way. So that was so cool. So shout out to Jeannie. I'm gonna go in and um, say hello to her and get to meet her. I'm so excited. But we should be there here very shortly and we are so excited. Okay, we are in the camper, getting Miss Press over here, set up and squared away, get everything unpacked, putting the groceries away. Y'all, this will probably never happen again. Hopefully you can see our view really well. We are oceanfront, so pretty. Let me see if I can show you out here. So we're gonna keep unpacking everything, getting all set up. I think we're gonna go to Walmart and grab a few groceries. I'm pretty sure we decided on fajitas tonight for dinner. So I think that's what we're gonna do. So I will check in with you guys in just a little bit. It's gonna be hard to cook uh, fajitas on the Blackstone, 40 degrees and wind. <laughs> but we're gonna try. We're gonna do it. I think um, we'll have to see what the wind conditions are like, but you know, they do make those little wind guards. We need to get some of those. Without those, I'm afraid that all of the flames might get blown out, you know? What's gonna be our plan B? Plan B is... Tuna Shack. <laughs> no. Plan B is find maybe another restaurant in this immediate area that we haven't tried before. We can try. I think that sounds like fun. Yeah. Okay, we just got back. We ended up going to Dead Dog Saloon if you are in Merle's. Let me see if I can have this with one hand. You have to go there. Hang on. 
Okay, you have to go there and get their little hush puppies and their honey butter. It is so good. And then I got this um, like fried chicken sandwich. Probably one of the best chicken sandwiches I've ever had. So that's what we got for dinner. Bunky got some blue crab nachos. He loves them. And then we ran by Walmart just to grab a few things. I figured we needed an apple and a banana to go with our eggs and bacon in the morning. Bunky needed a chopstick. And then we like to keep these um, damp ribs in the camper. So we need another one of those. So I think this little girl missed us. We got to feed her. I think we're just going to cozy up and watch some TV or a movie tonight. Okay, good morning. I say good morning, but I slept terribly. It is like category four hurricane winds outside. Isn't it, Bunky? <laughs> it's pretty, it's blustery. It is like 60 mile per hour winds. The no, Bunky, don't yes, exaggerate. It no, it's no, not. I take the weather. <laughs> For real? Yes. Oh, I tried looking. I couldn't figure out how to get a weather reporter they out here. Saying, they are saying like 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gust. No way. Yeah, you can probably hear it. The whole camper has been going crazy all night. I'm up like checking on things. Bunky's sleeping like a log over there. I just let Daisy May out, which is probably why my hair looks crazy. And I'm like soaking wet. Like what is even happening with my hair? We're going to just hang tight in the camper this morning and make some breakfast and then I'll probably wrap up this video so I can start another video. But eggs are on the menu. I want some scrambled eggs. We've got our coffee. Daisy well, makes we also, good. We have our banana and apple. Banana and apple. Oh, okay. I got a question for you. Yes. So, would you rate the stormy weather that we're having right now uh -huh. worse than Hurricane Ida, I believe it was, whenever we were in Savannah. Oh, for for 1,000%, this is way worse. Okay. Yeah. That felt like nothing compared to this. I agree with you. I was just wondering. <laughs> and y'all, I wish I could even like take you out there, but we're like, you know, ocean front Z here. Zoom in on, the, on the, oh, the waves through there. The waves are like ripping. It's crazy. Sh this show them tree, the palm tree over there. Yeah, this tree was standing up straight. Now <laughs> it's like completely sideways. Y'all, I'm telling you, it is wild, wild west out there. We're gonna have a cozy day in the bunkhouse, and that's gonna be so yeah. much fun. Yes, ma'am. As long as we don't get blown away. We're not going anywhere. Oh, oh wow. I was thinking earlier too. <laughs> you know what? This is funny. Okay. Okay, tell me. I was thinking. What? The, I say it's funny, but. Like, you know how there's tornadoes, uh -huh. and how tornadoes will lift. I mean, they just take things, like right? Cows. I cars. hope they're not scary. No, no. Okay. But I was thinking, like, if there was a tornado, uh huh, and we didn't have an opportunity to get into a an actual safe structure, uh huh, what would we do? <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me your thoughts. And like, if this tornado was going to pick us up and, and drop us off somewhere uh -huh. else, you know. <clears throat> so I was thinking, <laughs> where would we go? <laughs> Inside the camper. The many thoughts of, of Bunky's head. And uh, the bathroom, probably not the best place. So I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking that the front, you know, the front, because our bed is in the front cap up there. Yeah. That's probably like, and it's kind of, you know. Uh-huh. But then I was thinking, you know how the bed lifts? <laughs> we could get... <laughs> underneath the bed in there. And in put, the storage. In the underbed storage and put pillows in there with us. That's actually genius. So I don't know if that's like part of camper safety. <laughs> but I love that you've like thought this through so we have a plan. Yeah. In the event that there's, you know, something like that that's ever going to happen, is that the actual proper safety precaution? Probably the part like Probably. you know how you know what to do in a house. Yeah, but this is maybe you need to know what to do in a camper. I feel like um, the proper thing would be to get to like the bathhouse. Do you hear this? Do y'all hear this? It feels like the camper is going to be picked up and that, like thrown. That, that was a pretty uh, significant gust of wind. This is so funny. Yes. I, I think I just saved the day. We were having a dilemma 
about what we were going to do with all this baking grease. And as you know, I have a certain place in my heart for a grease jar. <laughs> and what do we have here? A perfectly clean little jar. We made, oh, it's this our pepperoncini. This is from when we went on our last camping trip, and I was like, we should save that, because we're, like, why not? Why yeah, not and I just opened the drawer, there it was. And this is like camper-sized jar. Yeah. Very small. It's perfect. And don't y'all just love how Bunky arranged the banana? Only I wasn't done with the apple yet. <laughs> okay, just for if anyone was curious. This is, this is where we're going to hide. <laughs> You know what? I don't think we're both going to fit in there. I think only one of us is surviving this storm. <laughs> I have to come up with a plan B. Hmm. To be continued. I'm going to throw you in that closet. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can fit in there. Okay, y'all, so that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and going on our crazy adventure to rescue the camper. We love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Check out HelloFresh down below in the description box. Give this one a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.